生まれながらの負けぬくんそいつは負け犬じゃねえ明日は俺のライバルだ今こいつを倒すなんなんだその国もあるわ五枚目悪魔のせい Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Black Clover episode 48, I believe. I think it's 48. Now guys, the last episode this guy got a, an upgrade. Now we're teaming up. Like the powers are string and teleportation and, and Asta's anti-magic. They they just might do the trick, but for how long? I still think we need Yami here. Plus, this guy might get reinforcements, right? And we saw that he already has some people here. I mean, I guess we bodied them already, but still, I'm not willing to take the risk. Like, Yami needs to get over here, bro, because mm, I, I don't think we can actually defeat this guy. If we do, I'm going to be hella impressed. That being said, if you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go. Asta did slash him. Yeah, he slashed him. It worked. Did it? Oh, you've done it now, human. I guess it didn't. Yeah, get him out of there. That was close. Amazing. Who knew that those two had that kind of talent in them? True! I'm impressed! Mm. So I was right. That's the only weapon here that stands a chance of defeating me. His he can't heal himself after Asta slashes, or rather the places he slashes. So we need that sword to pierce through him so we can make him retreat. Because, yeah, that pierce, the sword gets all the magic of healing away from him. So, brah, it just leaves one gaping hole, brah. This anti-magic sword. Even with it, that runt would be no match for me on his own. But with those two giving him backup, he has considerably more mobility. Which means I can't predict the brat's moves. Exactly, because he was able to predict Finral's teleportation, right? He knew where he was coming from and all that. But once we entered with strings, once we entered strings into the equation, my man lost the ability to track us that thus giving us an opening and an element of surprise that's why he's probably gonna go for the woman right he's gonna try and kill her first <laughs> not good how fascinating yeah. I'm not done. maybe don't yell don't announce your arrival oh, it feels like an immense and malevolent power. Okay. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's even more unbelievably massive than the unbelievably massive magic I felt earlier. It's unbelievably unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. The best defense is a good offense. Keep going and don't give up a chance to fight back. <laughs> I mean, true, they're doing a great job, but how long can they sustain that? I'm pretty sure this monster can go all night, but Finral and the girl can't sustain those portals and those strings forever. So they need to finish him off quickly, and they don't have an attack capable of doing that. <laughs> when I think of what that monster did to my son and my grandkids, avenge them, give him back every ounce of pain well that he done. gave them, make him... I'm not sure how much longer I can stand this kind of tension. We're reaching our limits already. So close! Snap out of it, Finral! There it is. Damn, he got cut. He wants to learn your timing, your battle quirks, your weaknesses. To do that, he's been holding back his attacks and going on the defensive instead. <gasps> but what do you expect them to do with this information? Knowing my strategy won't change their situation. You pitiful humans. Attack whenever you're ready, but the next one will be your last. It's freaking killing me that I gotta just watch all this play out. Bro, bust you out of there. You have idea how pissed off I am. <gasps> Kid! Calm, Calm down, down, okay? We'll push further past our limits! Yeah, I don't know about okay, that. Get ready! We're gonna go even faster! Bro, didn't they already do that three times? 
pushing past their limits. You, you're expecting them to do it the fourth time? Bro, calm the hell down. Why don't you break your limits and bust out of that trap they set for you and come help? Freeze. Kiddo, when I see you fighting so hard, even though you have no magic of your own, I start to feel a kind of courage I never thought I had. Why not escape this cage and join them? You want to, right? What? No, that's impossible. I mean... I could never defy the Queen of Witches. The Queen of Witches? Hey, right? Don't look so sad. I'm stuck here. Inside this cage forever. I'll never be free. Bro, what a switch up. And now she's practically a stripper. <laughs> I assumed... Those were the cards fate had dealt me. I left the forest of witches and chose life with the black bulls instead. And it's our choice what to do with them. And I'm not complaining, by the way, but she's like did a whole 180, bro. Like she was shy and stuck in a cage and didn't know what to do and was right. And then she busted out of there. She busted out of her clothes and she's like, I'm free now. Like, hey, yo, wilding, bro. She's wilding. Oh, I'll pull you back in. Just trust me and go. I'm not counting on you! Okay. Oh, he cut him? You ridiculous little fool! For generations, House Vaud has used offensive spatial magic. And it has served us well as magic knights. My, just look at how much of that column you shaved off. You're amazing, Longris. An absolute genius. Don't worry, we'll have someone fix whatever you've broken. Why, just look at Longris. He's already been made vice captain of the Golden Dawn. And what have you accomplished? You're nothing Whoa. but a pack mule for the Black Bulls. The worst Magic Knight squad there is. You're a disgrace to our house. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. But hey, at least the girls really like my pretty face. Damn, I ran just... away from my father, my brother, my home. And then, I met you, Asta. A boy utterly without magic. Not too little. None at all. Why'd you let me join your squad knowing I'm not much of a fighter? Figured you'd come in handy as a chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's not like my spells are good for taking down enemies or anything. See, he just keeps accepting it. He was being sarcastic, probably. Maybe not, but you probably got your own way of fighting, don't you? But I'll do what I can to make the Black Bulls the strongest squad. I stepped away. Bruh, my man, a team player, bruh. And not only that, he has spatial abilities. Don't, bruh, those abilities are OP. I'm sorry, he can... He can do all kinds of things with it, bro. He can teleport half of Asta's body, and that's a wrap for Asta, bro. Right? He can cut him in half. Like, I know that he doesn't want to do that because he's a good dude, solid dude. But everything, like, so everything's a deflection, bro. He always turns to humor. He accepts everything. Like, he just doesn't want to confront anybody. My man needs to grow some balls, bro, but he has potential. Away from my own fight. And when I did, there were words I couldn't say anymore. Even one of you slips up, you'll be dead. And you'll take the other two with you. How long do you think you can actually keep going? How can you so easily put your life in our hands? A drunken lush and a superficial slacker. Still, whatever made you believe in us. We, we won't betray, betray your trust. Let's go. With my magic running out, they could snap any minute. I trust you two and work it away! Not just two. Gosh! Looks like we made it in time. Yeah. Take this. With all the magic power I can muster. Okay. Mirror magic. Reflect refrain! What are you playing at? You think with enough blast, one has to land? They want a smoke screen? <laughs> Good luck with that. It's all the distraction. That's a lot of distractions. I've had enough! Time to plunge you and sex into despair! You're right! Who has time to waste on despair? Damn, he actually did it! Now that's a wound. That's a wound, alright, and he said he's not able to heal from those cuts, right? How about this? This is a full bone stab to the stomach, bro. Yeah, this should make him retreat, right? At least for, for a minute. 
Right, but uh, something tells me he's gonna heal that somehow, or maybe reinforcements are gonna come. I, this doesn't feel like an ending of the fight, right? I do love that everybody's here and they're all, right, literally coming together using every shred of or ounce of magic they have left to at least survive this guy for a minute longer until Yami gets here, even though Yami's not even trying at this point. Like, wh what's the plan, right? Like, they can't keep this up, obviously, but now, like, all this time they were on the offensive and now they finally struck an attack, a very well-coordinated attack. My man stabbed him in the stomach, so... Hey, I guess uh, it's as good as planned as any, bro. If they tried to escape, he would probably slaughter them, so the only thing they could do was head-on attack him. And, bro, I gotta commend all of them, bro, especially Fenral and, uh... I, I forgot her name again, bro. Like, the... 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 Bazinga chick. <laughs> Veronica, I believe, like the string chick, like they just really, they really combined their powers well, and it worked well. Of course, Gauche and, and the others coming in, like a like with a clutch, also very very well done. But damn, Finral and Veronica, they were really really helpful, really really helpful. And I also enjoyed seeing them on the screen. Also, Black Clover is kind of on drugs. A few minutes, the animation just spikes to the max, and then. It goes down like in quality and just it keeps tripping me out. <laughs> I'm not used to it. That being said, I ain't gonna on this that much. I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Love you. Enjoy. And bye.